apple, lemon, ginger. Apple, lemon, ginger. Cheers to this, brother. Ooh, that's an oat cake. Cheers. Today we're going to talk about the breakdown or the debrief of our five day and five night pickup artist boot camp. Insane Vaku here in Helsinki. <clears throat> one of the festival, the best festivals of the year that we do, one of the best training camps we do is Vaku. What makes it <clears throat> that way? God, there's a menagerie of reasons, but the people are awesome. The people are beautiful. Mm. The nightlife is crazy. The day life is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all put together with this magical festival, which is called Vapu, V-A-P-P-U. As you might have saw, seen on previous videos that we put out on YouTube, we come every year. And sometimes we come twice a year. Yeah, it's worth <laughs> coming. <laughs> And uh, we always have an amazing blast. The students always benefit massively from it. And a lot of them repeat coming. Just as in, at the end of this one, half of the people said they want to come again. Yeah. So they've already signed up for that, which is brilliant. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's an experience that I don't think you can get anywhere else in the world. And people are like, oh, I'll just go to Sweden. No. It's not the same. Sweden's awesome. Sweden's awesome. But it's right. not the same. It's nothing bad about Sweden. However, Helsinki, in my opinion, is just a smidge better. And that's why we date Finnish people. When we yeah, my date. girlfriend is Finnish. I've had two Finnish girlfriends throughout the years. I met her here in Finland. <clears throat> yeah, on, on a Vapu, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, cheers to that. Cheers to that. And she was here with us. She uh, did the show. I didn't mean to leave you hanging. That's right. But yeah, so what did the students get out of it? They got to... They got two extra days, first off. Normally, <laughs> yeah, right. we do a three-day boot camp. Three days in field. And this past weekend, we did five days in field. So we started early and ended late. Yeah and ran right through Vapu, right through the celebrations. Even though it was raining, everybody was out. We had the one of the days it rained, and that was the day where we were meant to be in the park. Right. That was like the main day, not the main night, but the main day right. of I the was, whole event. I was anticipating it <clears throat> being rained out, but there's hardcore celebratory uh, partiers. Yep, yep. There's hardcore partiers here in this city. They were out in the rain, full force, right? And so were we. And so were we. We had our waterproof hat on, you know, our PUA pants. Right. <laughs> um, and we were just jumping about, opening sets, going into music tents, um, joining people's picnics. They were picnicking with big, like, tents and umbrellas up. And, and the purpose for us, not just to celebrate Vapu and to celebrate life, but to get the volume and velocity of, sex, uh, of sets that we needed. A set is a group of people that you enter into and initiate a conversation with them. We were looking for sets. Yeah. We were looking for groups. Why were we looking for groups? Well, for the you, students. Yeah, you basically, there's, there's a proficiency list that we take them through. And we want them to succeed in all 25, but we actually gave them 30 proficiencies yeah. this time around because there's two days extra. Right. So they get an extra five hard, more advanced ones. Yep. And if you can demonstrate, you can complete all these proficiencies, you're on your way to being a very, very good some, PUA. Some examples of proficiencies are <clears throat> handling the internal interrupt. Handling the external interrupt. You know that, where the pull-away girl comes into your set and tries to disrupt the set from you, pull your set away from you. That's, how do you handle that? That's handling the interrupt, the external interrupt. There's opening singles, which are rare, opening two sets, which are plentiful, opening three sets, which are the majority of sets, opening even, you opened a, I think it was at least a 15 to 20 set. Yeah, that was an interesting set. That was fun and we'd walked into a club called Apollo. Humongous club, has a rock stage in it where there's people jumping around, it's got music areas and there's rooms outside. It's a inside. live music venue. It's like 3,000 people. Right. Strong. And here in Helsinki, the 
groups of people are particularly beautiful. It's just built into this city that you're going to work some hot sets. It's worth getting onto a plane and flying all the way here because this is in fact a world-class city. And if you want to get a world-class skill set, you're going to have to travel. You can't just game in your backyard and expect to become great. You have to go to these world-class cities like Vegas, Miami, Los Angeles, and Helsinki. It's one of those places that you have to game in. Yeah. If you want to get really good at, at pickup, London, of course, London. Big cities. This city isn't as big, but it happens to be where all the beautiful tourists come from. When you go to Hollywood, the hottest girls in those clubs, they're from Sweden, they're from Helsinki. <laughs> Just to be honest, yeah. you're looking for tourists when you're in Hollywood. You're looking for the sweetest looking women, I'm presuming. And they're coming from here. So we just hopped onto a plane, we talked everyone to coming here, and we just spent five days and five nights in the Nexus. In the Nexus, gaming our asses off. And it was grand it was fun. Awesome. There was so much learning that took place. I saw moving sets being worked. I saw large groups being worked. I saw two sets being merged. Forward merging, backward merging. Right, and you have to merge a two set because you can't isolate the target from a two set. It alienates the friend or the obstacle. So you have to merge the set, and that's pretty advanced. It's advanced because you have to open more than one set. You got to yeah. be able to open up more than one set. Yeah. But it's basic in that you have to do it tonight. So going into that Apollo, one of the things that we wanted to demo was social proof. Because as you say, social proof is 8% of the yeah. attraction. That's right, that's right. So we went in, and as soon as we went in, I opened very high energy, these two girls, got the interaction going after one minute, then said, look, follow me, this is where the party is. They'd just arrived as well. Locked them both in, walked in. Yeah, I recall. That right gave, away, that impressed the students, yeah. right? That they got to well, it's what see, we were just talking about on the way. what was possible. Yeah. That it is, in fact, a possible thing to walk into a club with girls you've just met outside. Yeah. And look great. And uh, when we walked over, we were bantering at the table. We did, I did a double spin thing yeah. and locked them in and so on. And when we were at the bar having a chat, I noticed there was a big, huge 15 set. So I've got a bit of social proof. I don't know if they saw me or not. But, but your what, energy level was yeah, high. I'm going to go right? back it, to that later. It was yeah. equal or higher than the set's energy level. Yeah. That's the rule that we live yeah, by. Yeah, exactly. Some of the students on day one, their energy level wasn't high enough. So getting some demonstrations live from us, I think, motivated them to raise up their energy and try harder. Totally. By the end of it, they were working sets. Loads yeah. of sets have, have been opened by them. They got the uh, fire up their ass. Yeah which is what you need. You need to get into a talkative opening state. What we call mode. Get mode. into mode. Your current, mode of moxie. Your current emotional state. Moxie means creative courage, by the way. Your current emotional state should be non-threatening and playful. Right? Yep, totally. Your current emotional state needs to be conveyed on the open. So that's why we smile. And maybe it's, a, it's still over the shoulder. We're not necessarily coming in with a smile, trying to yeah, get yeah, conversations yeah. going. We're, not we're, just, in on we're just conveying that we're in a, a glorious state, that our emotional state is non-threatening and playful. Worked great. Worked great. So Open that set. You ended up throwing a scarf in, in towards one of the girls. You held half the scarf, and she ended up... Seated not knowing, table of 15, not knowing 20. What, yeah. That's right. Not knowing what to do with it. It was in her lap, so that she got talked into grabbing it, All she the held friends. it, and got pulled out, and then went through a whole sequence of your dance moves. Yeah. Where it ends up with you well, the dip, and doing then, the dip. And then they think it's so, over, and you pick up and you spin around. And do the spin. Yeah, we got photos of that. Unfortunately, no one filmed that, but we got right. the photos of it. But, um, yeah, I, what, so when I opened, one of the openers I use on huge groups is 
what's this special occasion because I'm the entertainment for tonight right like that and they're like oh what's you know and I said well one of you secretly has hired me but they're very cheap and they've only paid five euros for my entertainment so you either get one trick or one joke <laughs> <laughs> okay like that and I say and you know what I'll throw in a dance too who's a special lady though and then they all point to her yeah and then so it then was I, a hen party yeah. it was a hen party so one of them is getting married yeah and I find out that it's a hen party it could just be a girl's night out yep. you know so I throw in the scarf to her and it just falls on the lap and it's a huge scarf I've got as well yeah long and she doesn't know whether to grab it so I'm talking, the, talking to the friends I'm talking to them would you want her to have a good time you know and they're all now talking they're all on my side right and they're all talking her into grabbing it and slowly I can see the hand and I'm just there keeping my frame keeping my frame and I'm like and then she slowly she just grabs it and as soon as it's tight enough I can see it I yeah. yank it just like catching yeah. a fish yeah. and you yank her and she stands up and, then and comes up this. towards you yeah. and then grab whisper sound in the ear and then start my moves yeah. which are a really easy moves. sequence of moves but I but just, it, it titillates them Yeah. it looks like dancing you're dancing mm. with her it makes but you have a sequence of moves that you dance with her and she has to learn really quickly <clears throat> how I, to move with there's you. There's bits where I teach them. I say, now we have to just do this bit slowly. Right. Follow my lead, follow my... Yeah. And I say, follow my lead, so I'm the dominant. So they love all that. It's all the little bits that go with it, I think, that hit. Well, the it's students saw, the saw that set and yeah. they, were, they were astounded by what was possible. Yeah. Whatever.